Okay. All right. So yesterday I introduced theorem one together with the converse. Okay, and I explained the differences between the two. Then I did two examples, so I'm, and I gave you homework. Okay, so let's go over the question together. All right. You, if you did the work, you mark the work. All right. If you didn't do it, don't worry. It might bite you back later. Because next time we are going to assess you on this. Okay. All right. So, in the question, says O E is perpendicular to A B, and E B is about seven units. O E is twenty-four units, and D F is about F C, and both are equal to fifteen units. Then the question says determine the reason the length of A to B up to B into B into B into B into B into B, which is the radius. Okay. So that's the radius from here to there. Of the red, of the red, of the radius. So that's equivalent to A bar. To do that, obviously, I need to identify a triangle. In this case, to the triangle A or E. And in that triangle, I know the length of O E and I, I can get the length of A E. But it's not specified what the length of A E is. Therefore, I have to use theorem 1 to get the length of A E. You don't just start substituting. So, the first thing that I would suggest that you do is to say AE. Let me use a different color. Is to say AE is equal to. It's going to be equal to BE. Okay? So AE is equal to BE. Okay. Right? Oh. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Don't stress the same thing. <laughs> AE is also the same as EA. So it will be line from center. Perpendicular to form. The reason why you have to give that as a reason is because of this. It's because of that. That 90 degree angle, which is, which is there, it's an indicator that is, is the original theorem 1. So, you need to tell us why is AE equal to BE? Why? What is the reason for that? Okay? Then you can say, Therefore, AE is equal to 7 units because BE is equal to 7. Okay? You cannot just substitute in the AE equal to 7 units without telling us why you said, you said that AE is equal to 7 units. Okay? Then, once I have that now, then I can identify my triangle. So I'll say in triangle A or E. Okay, if I use the theorem of Pythagoras in that triangle, it will be A or squared is equal to A or E squared plus A E squared. And the reason is Pythagoras. Okay? Can you just put it Yes, you can, but I'm telling you right for school. Then the length is 24 squared plus 7 squared. So my A O is going to be the square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared. What answer do you get? The full answer. It will be the square root of the sum, yeah? so it will be 25 units. Okay, so that A O is equal to 25. Okay, so we are done with the first one. Then 3.2, so this is 3.1. Maybe 3, 4. Okay. 3.2, you want the length of F or so it's from here up to there. That's the length. Okay? We define the length of F or. 
that allow me to, to take the diagram to the next page from its source. the length of, of, uh, of F4 and you need to be aware of the following. This is 25, it's a radius. Okay, can I ask you a question? How many, how many radii do we have in the diagram? Three. Three, sir. It's three. We have A, O, O, D and O, G. They are all radii. They are all equivalent to 25 units. Okay? So, if I want to calculate the length from here to there, all I have to do is find the length of FD. I know that all these equals A or both they are related. But what I'm going to do is, before I go anywhere, I need to write that A or is equal to all D, and both are equal to all G, and they are equal to 25, because they are radii of a circle. Is there a mark there? Yes, you can get a mark for that statement, and that reason. Either one mark or two marks, at maximum two. Okay? You need to write that down. Okay? Then from there now, I'll say, now this part is very important. If you look at what we are given there, we know that DF is equal to FC. Okay? Both are equal to 15 units. This is given. Okay? It's given in the question, in the statement, in the question, it is also shown on the diagram. So right? Yes? Also the Okay, you can use line from center to midpoint of course. Okay, but here I I'm, I just decided because it's it's written in the on the as part of the question here, it's indicated that DF is about F C or fifty. So I can just write straight away that it's given. Okay, but it's also correct to say line from center to midpoint of what? Of course. Right. Then from there, I'll say in triangle or GF. Okay. I might then find my triangle that I'm gonna apply the theorem of Pythagoras. That's why I have to write that. Then in that triangle, I write or G squared is equal to GF squared plus or F square. This is the theorem of Pythagoras. Okay? So I'll write here Pythagoras. Then I'll substitute. So this is 25 squared. Then GF that's 15 squared. And I need to find OF squared. Now 25 squared is 62. It's going to be 625. 15 squared is 225. So I'll get 625 here. That's 225 plus or F squared. Let me turn on here I'll use another color. Right? So then I can say therefore or F is equal to the square root of 625 minus 225 plus 400. So the final answer will be 20 units. Okay. So that's what we've got. So, so one more for the Okay, the math allocation can be like this. You can get one mark. Okay, let me use that thing. One mark here. Yes. Right. This is given. It may not be allocated a mark. Right. But using the theorem of Pythagoras statement and reason, right, you may get a mark for get the answer. So you could get about three minimum. You get about three minimum. It's not a very complex question to do. Yes. Could you say that yes, there's a very good question. Is it such that 25 squared, 150 squared, and then square root, and then in the calculator? Okay. Okay, and then it gives you the same one. Are you talking about putting it like this in first? No, you're not. In the square root 4. In the square root 4. In the square root 4. 
You're saying you just do that in the input code there as well. Okay, so you're saying put in the square root of 625 minus 225 inside. Yeah, you put 25 squared minus 15 squared. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. But you need to be aware that the theorem of Pythagoras is this. This is the theorem of Pythagoras. No, it's okay. If you decide to do it that way, it's also okay. But make sure that you write the theorem of Pythagoras first. Then, when you are simplifying, you can do it the way that we are talking about. Okay. Any question? If you don't have a question, then let's carry on. Yes. But you can also get some. I'll give you some uh, some more challenging one. All right. So F G now. Now we calculate the length of F G. Now to calculate F G, can I have your attention? You need to be aware that F G is part of OG, and OG is a diameter. So my suggestion is we can call this one X. Okay, let me level it. Let's try to use this one. So the length here is 20, right? We can call that one what? X. Then, so easy, right? 3.3. 3.3 is the easiest. Fg is equal to OG minus OF. Very simple. Okay? What is OG equal to? It's 25. Because it's a radius. Okay? What is OF? We got it as what? 20. So that will give you 5 units. It looks like it's scary to do, but it's the easiest of all of them. Okay, and then you are done. Okay? Alright? So it's just one more. Maybe one or two there. Eh?